Alright. <clears throat> Welcome back to Nicolai. It's Comic Corner. Classic, last known classic. It's episode number 2659, double number 2553. I have. Now, I said I switched up basically this one. I'm doing Aquaman, but I'm not doing it with Doom Patrol. Actually, no, with Alpha Flight. This is with Namor, is, is basically kind of our Marvel Comics. And showing out the fact that these two are two completely different characters. I kind of wish Kevin Feige would allow Namor to be Atlantean instead of being freaking Mayan. But that's the rock and roll together. So, here are the scouts for Aquaman. This is actually discussing issues collected in the second to last of the collected issues from Volume 1. Called Aquaman Deadly Waters. They have a pollution style story arc. He's all sorts of one point mirror. And it's also this thing where. They also mentioned this one. He'll keep out of the water for like an hour. And he has to go back underwater. Because. That's one of the threads in this thing. And there's also a backup story from issues 52. Where it features dead man taken on Ocean Master. Like that's interesting. Yeah I was kind of surprised. The fact that DC did this. Where they gave dead man a backup feature in Aquaman. Yep. The writer. The creative team behind these issues are. Steve Skates and Jim Harrow. Which, yeah, this art by Jim Perry is amazing. Okay, look, look, look at this artwork. Jim Perry himself did an excellent job with this artwork. It is so good. Yeah, Garth is in the story too, which is when he's still Aqualad. Uh, it's just all around really good story. And sadly put at the end of the story arc, the Aquaman series ended. Excuse me, what, what did it end for? My guess is presumably due to low sales. But, but do you see I'm going to leave this character behind? So, next time we discuss Aquaman will be the final trade to collect issues from Volume 1. Aquaman, Death of a Prince. A very, a very well-known storyline for Aquaman. But I'm going to give Deadly Walters a 9 out of 10. Uh, next up we have is from Namor. A series that came out in 2003. Called Simply... Namor. Uh, there we go. Here we go. Okay, here we go. Namor. This uh, 12 issue Max series released in 2003. Now, I've read this issue series before, but I didn't realize who wrote it. The series where I build Jemis. You know, I'm thinking, what? Build Jemis? You mean the guy behind the awfulness that is Marvel? Yeah, he wrote this. The series set is is in pre World War II. This is my guess as presumably they say this is set in the early twenties. And and Namor here is a teenager. So well, first basically we have so I was a kid, me and a woman named Sandra. Uh, a little girl named Sandra, they play, and of course they get pulled away. And then Namor is not see her again until pretty much basically until she's about 16. Where she apparently her nickname is Sandy. Apparently he remembers her, and apparently they didn't forget. And he also has his necklace around his, he also wears his necklace the whole story. Which for some reason he does not wear this in the present day. He does wear his speedo briefly. We see him in here. And also, he's got a wavy hair, and it's a really good love story between the two of them. And uh, of course, they fall in love. And of course, his he also we also introduced to several original characters in this book who don't appear again after this, as far as I can tell. He has cousins named Babo, and who apparently is a good one. And of course, is Brenner, who is a evil, who's a dick. Yeah, apparently his is is he hates Namor. And his aunt, basically, was aunt who was the, who was the king's, who was uh, his mother or sister. I think so. Yeah, and of course, Namor reveals to Sandra that, well, her mother, his mother is Atlantean. And, of course, she points, oh, that means because, well, since you're a land breather, that means, oh, that means your father must be human. He's like, yep. And as mentioned here, he is never his father. Which, that actually, I do appreciate Hill Jim was remembering that continuity because... Namor did not meet his his father into the seventies. Like very briefly in the south, he didn't meet Landon McKenzie at that point, which he died. Yep. 
And there's also this woman named Liz in the story. Babu falls in love with her. And of course, by the end of the story, it's really check. She's pregnant with Babu's child. And apparently because of the 20s, because, because she's unmarried, she has to go live with this house of girls. I'm like, okay. I get the fact this is like pushing early third. Like this is before the stock market crash. Because, well, uh, all, there's also an oil thing in here too. But it's a very interesting story for what it is. And by the end of it, it seems like a very happy ending. Sadly put, as I have named more, nobody returns after this story. Nope, nobody ever does. I don't know why, but that's basically how it is. Um, but it's a pretty interesting one it is. I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10. You're thinking, really? You give Bill Jemis a 9 out of 10? Yeah. But I only give it a 9 because it's not a perfect story, but it's good. I enjoyed it. Next time of name more will be Name or Volume will be Summoner Volume 2. A initiative tie-in after Civil War 1. And that's going to be interesting to talk about. But I have to go take care of something because I hear some crime. But please be sure to like, comment, subscribe, turn notifications, and do not hit the dislike button. Okay, next video. Bye.